We have a doozy set up for us tonight. Arrowhead hosting Milwaukee King tonight. Arrowhead coming into the game with a fantastic record of 16-1 and on the season. Milwaukee King coming in with an overall 8-8 eight eight record, but don't let that record fool you. Absolutely. You know, they have a very tough strength of schedule. They have uh, played a lot of out-of-state teams trying to, you know, get that get that strength of schedule up, trying to make sure they're, uh, you know, come top, top form during uh, the March time. Craig McCoot, head coach for Milwaukee King, also has the team – in, in a good position. They are 7-0 and in conference play this year, the Milwaukee City Gold Conference. And with that 8-8 and overall record, again, the, the conference record is really what you look at this time of year, setting yourself up for a late February run, early March run in the playoffs. You know, this is really going to be um, a way to test that team. Um, this is a way they will really be able to measure themselves to see how they will compete against a fantastic team like Arrowhead, who currently is number three in the state. In terms of Milwaukee King, um, I think you got to look at Fowler. You know, she's a very quick, small guard. But, man, I saw some film on her last night that I was watching, and she can really dish the ball. She is a special player that really knows how to find um, the open man, in, especially in the open floor in transition. Fowler averaging just under 17 points a game this season. A, a girl that can score uh, and, and, and quick. Absolutely. She's very quick, which definitely helps her on both ends. She definitely is great getting the ball out in transition, but defensively, she can definitely harass that ball handler. A couple keys to the game, Tommy, both for Arrowhead and for Milwaukee King tonight. For Milwaukee King, I think uh, what's going to be the most important is if they're going to beat this Arrowhead team, they have to put together four full quarters. They've had some games this year where they've started a little flat and tried to turn it on at the end. I think against this Arrowhead team, you have to come out from the get-go. Bird set for King to take it out. Inbound Pouse quick to foul with that up and good. Wide open down the middle. Swings it around now. Right corner over to Zeman. Zeman with it. Tries going cross court pass over to Megan Douglas. And that one deflected by Shaquilla Fowler. And we can see Fowler's presence on defense here early. Absolutely. She's already getting in her passing lanes and has already two deflections. She's only 5'3", but makes up for that lack of height with quickness and speed. Now to Zeman. Zeman puts it up no good for three. Transition the other way quickly goes Brook Brooksy McWilliams. She puts it up and an easy two there for King in transition. And that's exactly what we were talking about. Fowler does a great job of the quick outlet class in transition. We've seen at least five or six offensive rebounds early on here for King. Absolutely. They're just doing a great job of attacking the offensive glass. Inbound pass to, to Fowler. Right wing. Looks down low. Inside to Hayes. She gets a turnaround dribble. Shot puts it up and good. A nice turnaround fade there by Hayes. But really what made that happen was Fowler, rather than just throwing it in right away, she had a ball fake to fake her defender off and got a better look into the post. Kick outside to Peterson. She drives. Runner no good. Blocked. A piece of it by, by Hayes. Going the other way now is Fowler in transition. Fowler takes it the all, all the way. Stop pass from four feet and good. Stops on a down and just holds up. What a great play. Coach Woody needs to time out. It's amazing to watch how quick Fowler is with the ball. Yeah, the word I would describe her, she's just smooth out on the court. Smooth. She's very smooth. Quick transition the other way for King. All the way up to McWilliams. That one off the glass. And good transition offense. Something King has been doing very well. Just hasn't converted up till now. 22 to 12 now. Fowler the other way for King. That one nice jump shot on the baseline. Took it her took it the entire way. And Tommy, should, should we expect to see her to try to take this game over now? I think she has to. I think she's uh, you know, she's really quick as a hiccup out there. And Arrowhead's having a tough time keeping in front of her. Fowler bring it up across half court, moving right to left. High screen there for Fowler. She takes it, step back, a two, just a foot on the line. Think she has the green light, Chris? Uh, <laughs> absolutely she does. The other way, Fowler for, uh, Fowler, unbelievable. A nice backdoor cut there. She gets an easy two. And, and Fowler really starting to take this King offense on her shoulders. That's the end of the first half. With Arrowhead, a 32-26 to 26 lead. Um, in terms of King, 
Fowler's been doing a little bit of everything. She's been all over the floor, offensively and defensively. Defensively, she's been getting up in her man's grill. She's she is, scrappy. She's very, very scrappy. scrappy. Very scrappy. And on offense, just like we talked, she's smooth. She's been playing great. She's been finding the open teammate. And she's got 12 points for herself right now. She's been doing a great job getting great looks at the rim. So, again, our halftime score is 32-26. to 26. All right, Mr. Tommy Olson, you're going to play coach here for us. For McCoot, you got to keep running. you got to look to push the ball. Fowler's been doing a great job of finding her open teammates. And then on the offensive side of the ball, you got to keep running that little pick and roll game. I think it's been working great for them. Um, I look for a little more roll to the hoop action, Fowler finding the open man. Fowler with it now for King, looking for somewhere to go. Wanted the back screen from Dupree, doesn't get it. Directing traffic, calling for a clear out, and goes down low now to Hayes. Hayes backing her girl up, back out to Fowler. A quick two dribbles right, stops and pops, and Tommy, she stops on a dime. Absolutely. Up, and she can elevate. 2.16 to play here in the third quarter. A nine-point lead for Arrowhead, and off the turnover, King has a chance to cut into this lead even more. Fowler with it off the inbound pass. Oh, wow. What a great give and go. Fowler inbounds the ball to Hayes. And right away, back to Fowler. Fowler, with how quick she is, takes two dribbles and gives it back down low to Hayes. That's three passes in a matter of a second and a half. And let's be honest, Arrowhead didn't see that one coming, and they weren't ready for it. I don't think we were ready for that one. <laughs> she just has incredible vision. And you notice now with the four fouls, Fowler is not bringing the ball up court. Yep, she's playing the off guard, still trying to get a little penetration. As she does right she there. gets the high screen from Akela Hayes and a nice two dribbles to the right, stops from 12 feet out and nails the jump shot. Such a pretty shot by Fowler. Goulet with it for Arrowhead in the corner. Loose ball, McWilliams steals it, going the other way now is King. Fowler pushes the ball across half court, looking down low, wide open is Destiny Tooks, and that one is up and good, and we have a quick timeout here on the floor, a 30-second timeout called by Craig McCoo. Shaquilla Fowler is a spark plug. Okay, inside to Lorenz, that one stolen away by Fowler, taking it the entire way, and a little runner, that one good, gets the kiss off the backboard, and the shooters roll. Good. How quick is Fowler? We said it before, but watching her right in front of us here on the right corner, where she comes up to Smith's waist. Yeah, absolutely. But don't let that uh, that size. <laughs> don't let the she size. She got the heart. Her. She has the heart. Being pressured by Jepson is Fowler top of the key. She there, she takes her a nice entry pass cross court to McWilliams. That one's off the put back in by Kayla Hayes, and we have a one point lead now. For King! And again, that's all off the penetration from Fowler. Fowler has been a catalyst tonight offensively, and we can see right there why. An effort play there by Akela Hayes to keep the ball alive, and Fowler stops for three. Got it! She got it! 35 seconds to play! Are you kidding me? What a clutch shot from Fowler. Ice water in her veins! And we are all tied up here at 54 apiece, 35 seconds to go. Was there any doubt when that left her hand? She knew. She knew. She had the hell up there. Fowler now with it in transition the other way. Taking it the entire way. Stops, fades away. Shot gone. Fowler with a 12-footer on the right side. Just clutch. She's just fearless. Absolutely fearless. She wants the ball in her hands in the clutch. 63 to 61 lead for King. 145 to play in overtime number two. And that'll do it. That is a final for us tonight here at Arrowhead High School. Milwaukee King escapes in double overtime with a 67 to 65 win. Wow, what a game. And this crowd loves it. On the road, what a victory. A thriller here. At Arrowhead High School, the City Conference Game of the Week. From Milwaukee King, Shaquilla Fowler, 25. Akela Hayes had 11. Brooksy McWilliams, 15. Two of those coming at the end of the second overtime at the Charity Stripes, sealing the game for Milwaukee King. So let's get your player of the game. 
Chris, this one's easy for me. Again, our key player of the game, it's Fowler. And I will say this, that is the most impressive girls basketball player I have seen in person. She can do everything. She's a triple threat player. She can pass, she can shoot, and she is scrappy on the defensive end. A word we used early, smooth, after watching her finish, I think we have to go electric. It was absolutely electric. Absolutely. And, and you talked about the fact that she's scrappy on defense. Remember, she played the entire fourth quarter with four fouls and the two overtimes. It's to have that impact on defense and still not get a foul call, that's impressive. Well, what she did, she still applied the pressure, which was great, but she had her hands off. She was right. not reaching. She's a smart player and a well-coached player. And happy to be joined by Milwaukee King head coach Craig McCoot. Craig, what a fantastic basketball game. Oh, that was a beautiful basketball game. Everybody who came today got their money's worth, I'll tell you that much. Um, the Arrowhead's an amazing program, an amazing team, and, and Coach Rick Whitty and I have said we will do this game every year, switching spots until we are no longer coaching. I love what they do out here, and it's an amazing test. And Coach is great enough to give us a February game um, to really test ourselves and to really test his team. I mean, both of us are more concerned about the, the quality of our game, the quality of our team at this point in the year, than we are about the winning and loss, losing. Um, that being said, I'm sure glad we came out with a W. A, a game like this always ha uh, easier and better to, uh, to take in if you come out on the winning side. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm <laughs> thankful. I'm really proud of our girls. Um, I said in the last interview of the last game that, and a shout out to our fans, too. <laughs> giving us a bunch of love. Um, I said in the last interview after the MSL game that winning a close game is a learned skill. And we won a close Riverside game, we won a close Languages game, and now we won this close game. And there's no way we could have done this in this game without those two previous close games. It's a learned skill that our team had to learn, and, and I'm really proud of how they responded in this game. Talk about real quick, Shaquilla Fowler, 25 points, and for only being 5-3, she plays like she's six four, and playing the whole second half with four fouls. Incredible, and, and, and you could see the way. And she recognizes that she she backed off during the traps, but still made her presence felt. And a, a very smart, athletic player. Uh, our coach, our assistant coach, Coach Young, turned to me about two weeks ago, and just in the middle of practice, Shaq did something that nobody's ever seen before, which is what she does all the time. And he turned to me and said, "You may never have another player like her as long as you're coaching." And the more I think about that, the more I'm right off the court, on the court, leadership, decision-making, and then just clutch as clutch can be. I mean, she must have had a dozen in the fourth quarter in overtime out of that 25. She just took over the game, confidently, calmly took over, and got us a W. And she did. And as a true point guard, she finds her open teammates as much as she makes clutch shots. She hit a couple cutters down to the post in clutch situations, showing that she has confidence in those players. And giving them that bucket. I, I can't say enough about Shaq, and I can't say enough about how the rest of the girls played along with them. And, and, and unselfish is one of the words throughout the broadcast, how we describe Fowler. Just incredible. Your, your thoughts when she hit that three-pointer. Did you know it was going in? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, she's, I've seen her do that in practice a million times. At the end of the clock in practice, she always has the ball in her hands. Uh, maybe two or three times a practice she'll hit a game-winning game shot. Um, in the end of a drill, in the end of a, a scrimmage, whatever we're doing, she loves to do it. She lives for it. And mid-fourth mid quarter, late fourth quarter, we came out of a timeout. I looked her in the eye and said, this is what you live for. And she looked at me, she winked, and she said, I got you. It just, absolutely incredible. Uh, our final tonight, Milwaukee King with a 67-65 to win at Arrowhead in double overtime. Craig McCoot joining us, the head coach for Milwaukee King. Now, Coach, some stats that aren't going to show up in the book. Aggressiveness. Hustle. Destiny Tooks, Akela Hayes, Brooksy McWilliams, all of them aggressive and just tenacious on the defensive end. And bench players getting spot minutes here and there, too. We had girls that would come off the bench for a minute, for 60 seconds, for, for 45 seconds, for two minutes that would go all out, go hard. And that was something we really went back after winter break and really tried to focus on is, are we going hard all the time? What are you going to do with your moment? And to the whole team, I thought they played incredibly hard. Um, those, those stats that you're talking about, deflections, um, getting in there and bothering the ball, trapping, running, and intelligence-wise, we really changed defenses a lot. I mean, we were we ran three, four different defenses repeatedly, 
and those girls responded to that as well. And then a couple of clutch free throws at the end that's not going to show up in the box for Well-timed free throws, smooth, calm in the moment. Um, a lot to be said about our team today. Nick Williams hitting those two free throws with 1.3 to go in overtime. And you talked about the different defenses, and in the second half, your press, your full court and your half court trapped worked like a gem, and you could feel instantly, right when you started doing that, the intensity of not only the crowd, uh, but the entire team, the entire atmosphere here just picked up a notch, and it was fun to watch. There was a point in the fourth quarter where we went down seven, and I remember very distinctly about six, five, six minutes left, and I thought, oh, crap, that might be it, because earlier in the season, we wouldn't have fought back from that. And all of a sudden, about a minute later, it was down to a two- or three-point game, and we had a legit shot to come back, and then it was a tie game. And I thought, this is a very different team from the one we saw at the beginning of the season. Um, and that just comes, that the credit goes to the girls who do it every day in practice, who come to work, and who decide they're not giving up anymore. Um, a couple tough losses, many tough losses at the beginning of the season, and they just came back to practice, reborn, ready to work, and, and that credit goes to them. Milwaukee King improving to 9-8 and eight overall in the season. Craig McCoot joining us after a 67-65 to 65 double overtime win at Arrowhead. Coach, appreciate you taking time out. Go celebrate with your team, and best of luck moving forward. Celebrate with my team. i got to get home and get back to teaching in about yeah. eight hours. <laughs> oh, you can st there's still time to celebrate. <laughs> oh, we will. We will. Thank you guys very much. Great job. Absolutely. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. That's Craig McCoot joining us.